So I have a new job and it's about grass, sorta. a very love-hate relationship with grass. I mean, it's beautiful, exhibit A, and you can do picnics on it, you can walk on it, you can run on its fields, and they are very important to maintain Earth's ecosystems. But I also don't like them. Because <laughs> over the past, like, four years, I've developed quite a strong allergy to grass pollen. The peak is like May, June, so the peak has just started and I'm filming in the grass field. <laughs> I know, I'm living on the edge and I hope you appreciate my efforts, <laughs> but it's so nice. Why does mother nature do this to me? <sighs> I don't. Grasses are very important on Earth. They absorb water, purify the air, combat soil erosion, and they are the food for many living things. Without grass, we would be screwed. Even though right now, ah, that idea does not sound too bad. Ooh, itchy, itchy, itchy. All right, so why is a marine biologist with a severe grass allergy working with grass? Because, plot twist, seagrass also exists. It's just, I live in a landlocked country, so here's some land grass. Also, it is difficult to talk underwater, so even if I had access to seagrass here, I would probably not be able to film this underwater. Seagrasses look very similar to land grasses. They are actually really distant cousins, but equally important for land and the ocean. Seagrasses together with coral reefs and seaweeds compose a group that we call marine forests. Just like forests and grasses on land, marine forests are the base of many ecosystems and are responsible for a big chunk of marine biodiversity. They are the reason why a lot of fish exist and a lot of the cool stuff we see when we go snorkeling or diving exists. So if you like fish and you like those beautiful things underwater, you should want marine forests to survive and thrive. But unfortunately, that's not what's happening. Researchers say they were horrified when they discovered that an for ecological the first disaster time, is unfolding on the coast of the I'm lucky that I've had the chance to snorkel and dive in all three of these ecosystems and the life they harbor is stunning and beautiful and magnificent and immense in some cases, depending where you dive or snorkel. It would be really sad to lose all that. Not only sad, it would be catastrophic. But unfortunately, that's kind of what is happening now, due to all the big nasties you have probably already heard of. But from the ashes of despair rises a phoenix. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote this in my notes as like a sentence I could say because it's so dumb. But where were we? Yes, the phoenix. The phoenix I am referring to in this case is marine forests restoration. This is the process, as the name indicates, of restoring forests that have been destroyed or lost to whatever factor. I want to be clear that restoration should be the last resort. We should try to prevent restoration from being needed. Because no matter what we as humans do, we will never do it as well as nature. So even if we restore a 
replant uh, seagrass meadows or restore coral reefs, they will never be as rich and complex as those that were there before. And marine restoration is also not always easy nor possible, and that's where research comes in. It's important to understand which are the most important species we should try to restore because we cannot restore every single species in a coral reef, for example, since there's thousands of them. We should try to understand what's the best method to do so and to understand what is the minimum area that we should restore in order for the ecosystem to eventually thrive again. So these are all things that are being researched. And it's also very important to understand how we can implement all of this in order for it to work. And that is what a project I am currently working on is doing. I have been contracted as the communications officer for a project investigating marine forest restoration. It's a one day per week job, so it's not a lot, but I am quite excited to learn from it. First of all, I'm excited to learn more about you know, communication, not only with the public and people outside science, but also between different partners and communicate with communities because there's a big citizen science component to this project. Citizen science is when you include citizens or people who are not scientists into your research. I am super passionate about this. This is something I would definitely like to do more in the future. And this project has that. So I'm excited. I'm very excited to learn about that. Marine forest restoration is a way that a lot of people who are not scientists can get involved in protecting the oceans. So if this is something you would potentially be interested in, you can check online if there's a, prog a program like this with it in your country, for example, and contact people who are doing research in citizen science, for example, or, cor or marine forest restoration, coral reef restoration, seaweed restoration, whatever um and maybe it's something of interest to you i'm itching all over guys look i'm this is no joke i hope you enjoy these this new style of videos where i just kind of talk to you a little bit about something i also take this opportunity to come outdoors and not stay inside the whole day film a little bit outdoors walk a bit around in nature do you like it i like doing them um so let me know if you like watching them. My book, Lila's Big Sky, is still available for pre-sale. The pre-order giveaway is almost at its end. So if you want to enter, you have to do it fairly quickly. Link is down below. Also, if you want to join the launch squad and help us in our launch week, you will be contacted then separately. The thing is also down below. Don't forget, there's my Indonesia trip next year where we will see a bunch of these things that I'm always talking about. Coral reefs, coral forests, <laughs> not seagrass, I don't think. Uh, maybe some seagrass. I don't think so, Seagra there's gonna be seagrass there. It's mostly coral reefs. Coral reefs are gonna be diving, hiking, chilling, a bunch of cool stuff. Also check it down below. And uh, that's it. Hi right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.